I've got my finger on the mic to try and cover up some of the uh, wind noise, but this is basically trying to furl right now. Whoa, there you go. Oh, here comes a big gust. Trying to fell. It's trying to fell. There you go. I'm moving back a bit. Yeah, that's getting the cleaner wind from this direction. I should turn to face the camera. There you go, that's where the clean wind's coming from. Whereas, if it's pointing over there, then it's going to be getting uh, wind from those trees. But if it's pointing this way, it should be getting clean wind. Here comes now the gust. A lot of w l little up and down wobble in the tail, from what I can see. Whoa. Maybe it's just quite blustery wind.
seems to be working all right I've still got this thing that it seems to move out of the wind too much uh, but we have got it coming from a direction where there are trees so I think maybe it's kind of hunting either side of the trees made bizzle so far so good Maybe you should move back a little bit. Here we go, big gust. Whoa, shit. Holy crap, that is light speed. Warp speed.
Another big cast. Whoa, see the tail there? Tops of the trees lit, that's how you know it's windy. Getting that worrying noise. Here we go, this is where the wind's coming from. Whoa, the wind's so choppy. Anyway, I'm going to go back in and see what the meat is doing. I've got to keep my eye on that noise, that rattle. I've tightened up the guide ropes a little bit more and it seems to be running even better. Some of the guide ropes have come loose, so let's put the camera down and sort that out. Oh, 
Formal service has been resumed. So this is it connected directly to the dump load. You can see it definitely slows it down. The winds are dying down a little bit. But you wouldn't expect it to do that. But I'm quite glad to see it moving around very slowly, if I'm honest. See if it will get going. There you go. It's having to get a lot of wind. There you go. I'm going to slow that down. I want to see how fast the blades are spinning at max peakage. There it goes again. As soon as you can't tell it's three blades, there you go, it's, spe it's speeding up. Now, uh, instead of just having the 600 watt 24 volt dump load direct to the meter, I've put a 24 volt 300 watt dump load and attached it directly to the rectifier. So it has made a bit of a difference as you can see. Uh, it's a good time I think to take it down. Uh, it's Friday 8.30 p.m. and it is still smashing it round. I really want it to stop now, if I'm honest. Well, as you see, it's facing into the wind now, and there, directly into the wind. There's the tail. So violent when it's furling. The uh, stress on the tower when it's furling is, is pretty great, I think. Maybe it's uh, just demonstrating the uh, problems with the tower that I don't normally get to see. Right, 
may go and try putting the brake on. And I've got to go out for the day, so I've decided to put the brake on. What it's actually doing, I believe, is when it's furling, right, it's so violent that it's just shaking everything loose. Uh, I can't really explain it. There's still a couple of uh, problems with the ground bits on the tower that I need to resolve. Remember, I did the ones on the left and the right, super cushy, but the one at the back is no good, really, and it's causing this wobble. The, t the tail also needs a better pin uh, or some kind of reinforcement because it will have a little bit of wobble there but I don't know if you can see the front guide right there. You can hear the, the change in the sound when it's furling. It's still going through the air, but there's a lot, almost a lot more friction. Whoa, whoa, there you go. They probably won't believe me, that's actually very intense when you're only uh, eight meters away from it. See how fast it's getting whipped around. But it's good to know the furling does work. Despite the very low angle, which is pretty different to what you'd see on that axial flux turbine, the furling does seem to work. He's following the wind pretty well as well, you've got to say, haven't you? 